Hello friends, welcome back to 8 bits. Long back ago, I have created one video related to the difference between Oracle database and PostgreSQL database. I got a huge response for that data, the database related video. Now I am again back with a new video series, the difference between Oracle database and Microsoft SQL server. Here we will go the details about the creation of database, creation of tables, views, procedures, triggers and much more. Let's jump to SQL Server Management Studio. For SQL Server databases, I am using SQL Server Management Studio. So here there are two methods to create the database. One is writing SQL scripts and another one is creating a database from the user interface. So you can see in the left hand side there is a tray view where there is a button called connect. So I have already connected to my schema. So inside schema there are databases folder. So if you expand databases folder, you can see the number of databases which are exist in your system. So right now I have two databases, one is sample and another one is test. So let's create a new database. Right click on the databases folder and click on new database. So here you have to enter the database name. So let's consider hrdb. The owner I will keep as default. I will not do any changes here. In the bottom you can see there are log files and the raw files. So the raw file which contains the data, what exactly the data stored in your SQL, those all are goes to this folder path and logs if any changes are happening to the databases all are will logged and those are kept in the logs folder for the time being i will not do any changes here i will keep as the default location what sql server provides me so after that i have to click on ok button to create a database so once you create a database the new created database will be listed in the left hand side tree view click on the new query button so that we can execute the SQL scripts inside the newly created database. So in the top hand side you can see here there are there is a drop down where you can see number of uh, databases. So let's consider here you can see master, model, MS, MS, DS these are the additional databases which we are not created. So these databases are system generated database by default those are there in Microsoft SQL Server. Now I have selected master so that it will consider none of the databases selected other than the system database. So using this master I can create database uh, using a script. So I am writing the script now create database and the database name. So I will give here hrdb1 and once you execute this command so database will be automatically created. To execute this script either you can press on the execute button or else in your keyboard you can press the function key f5. So once you execute, you can see here command complete successfully. Now if you refresh the databases tree view, you can see the new database here. So these are the two methods to create a database in Microsoft SQL Server using SSMS. Now let's move to Oracle. In Oracle, it is a completely different approach to create a database compared to Microsoft SQL Server. While installing the Oracle database software, the setup itself asks for creating the database in the initial time. Uh, I have downloaded the Oracle software and I am running the setup to install the Oracle database application. So once you double click on the setup file, you can see the installation process is going on. Here in the installation options, it will ask whether you want to create a database along with the installation file. So once you select this option, in the setup itself, it will create a database. So here you can see in the last but third one, uh, there is an option called the database, enter the database name and you have to enter the administrator password for that particular database. Compared to Microsoft SQL Server, in Oracle there are many levels of the usernames. For example, uh, sys sys and uh, sys dba. We have seen in Microsoft SQL Server, uh, the system administrator username is sca but here it is SYS. So this is the first method to create the database. Once you complete this process, the automatically the database will be created for you. The second method is from using SQL developer for Oracle software. As we saw SSMS is a default ID for Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle SQL developer. Here once the ID is opened, you can see there is a plus button to create a new connection. Click on that, enter the database name Then enter the username and password, select the system DBA role for that particular username and password. 
so that you will get full access and then enter the host name as a localhost because we are installing this database in our local machine and the port is 1521 and you have to enter the SID as Oracle that is a short form ORCL once you fill all these details then you have to click on the test button so that the ID will check whether any database already exists or not if nothing is there then it will give you a success result after that you can click on the uh, create button so that the database will be created and it will be listed left hand side tree view so i have already created hrdb database now once i click on that it will ask for me the username and password and once i enter it will be taking me inside the database these are the two easy ways to create oracle databases now somebody having doubt like what exactly happens if we write a script create database database name in oracle it will never work it will give a error called the database is already mounted because as we saw in sql server there is a master database which is default from the system so using that we can create a number of databases but in here in oracle we have to log in for a particular database and here the usernames are restricted based on the databases not on the schema so that that's why once we are entering username and password we are entering to a particular database and inside database we cannot create another database using a create command so these two steps what i have explained these two are the easiest steps to create the oracle databases that's it in this video see you all in the next video